All right, today is the day and step number five in the Airte Supercar project. Of course, we have a full-size model in plaster, but since we have the plaster, and we're gonna go ahead and do some things to make sure we can check the symmetry and make sure the car is uh, consistent all the way around. A few little tools, the laser you could buy for a couple, five, six bucks um, at a hardware store, some calipers to uh, take some measurements, and of course, one of these little um, formers that you can uh, use to adjust and get the curvature of a part of the car and transfer that to the other side. We'll be using that and uh, other tools. By the way, let's go take a look at how we did it. Jump back to the idea that nothing's cast in stone, or I should say plaster here. I had a couple of uh, bumps in the corners that just weren't working out. So I went ahead and cut those out, patching them with plaster. Nowhere throughout the process can you not go back, but of course, as we move into this finer finishing, uh, a repair like this is a little bit intrusive. So I'm trying to make sure I've got everything correct here, get everything to the position where all I've got left is a few spots that need to be sanded. Of course, here you are, a few little spots on the front corner need sanding. Once we get those finished, we'll be ready to go. Of course, once you look at it, you'll say, well, maybe it's not ready because there's a few things like some little pock marks here, little bubbles, or maybe even the burlap showing through. But those things are actually okay because we will be filling those in later processes. We're just after the basic shape here, not the actual fine finish. Now some of the tools you're gonna need are gonna be a measuring devices, straight edges. I got some calipers here to measure between different points on the car. And of course this contour gauge. I don't really show the use of the contour gauge in this video, but it's a pretty self-explanatory tool. Check one side, match it to the other. So the first thing we're gonna do is establish a center line down the car. Take some kind of measuring device, we're gonna measure from each side of the car and find center. And in this case, I use a laser that hangs from a rig overhead. You might not have that opportunity. But once I find center, I drill a few holes along the center line and fill them with plaster that's been dyed red. So if I do any further sanding, those little dots will always show up. Of course, the laser overhead. Also, I run a per perpendicular line with this last rib here to check the center of the line compared to the perpendicular layman of the ribs and find everything is pretty good there. With those lasers, I can actually now set a grid on the car. So of course, the center line part of that grid, and then I'll do distances away from the line at whatever increment you are looking to do is works well. Here you'll see that I have some green lines marked on the car and we can check the distance from the lace line or the green lines to features like this air scoop. Go around the other side, you'll match up the same lines. I said just a regular crayon works great to mark on the plaster at this stage as it's just working almost like a chalkboard. Mark it up, set your grid. Now I also use a floor mounted pointer to start checking the vertical heights and I'm gonna let the video here go on and describe that. Okay, here's the pointing device. And we have a grid marked on the whole car with the laser overhead. So now I just bring it, this one, the setup. Marking right on the grid line. Now I just need to take it since it's set up, move it to the other side of the car, check the same grid line on the opposite side of the vehicle. And let's see how it is. Look here, we are just about three eighths high. So, so three eighths high there. We're gonna uh, assume that it does something like that. Three eighths high. Okay. So I've adjusted the pointer 
catch this top edge of this air duct. And we can also move it down here. Catching this grid line. Okay, set for those grid lines. Now we need to take it to the other side of the car. And as you can see here, I'll try to get in nice and close. We've got five eighths to three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna take it down, build this up five eighths, take the other side down an eighth, make it even there. I move back to the grid line. It's also got a bit of a change, so I've marked it at half an inch, build that up there. And I'll just go back and forth with the pointer, build it up, smooth it down, and then go back, check it once more. And once more, and once more, and once more, of course, over and over, we're checking back and forth, adding some plaster to one side, subtracting from the other, whatever you need to do to bring each side into symmetry. Once they're worked out, we have a fairly finished car. The only thing left now is to move on to the next step, which is a sealing with fiberglass. But first, we're going to seal the plaster itself. I just take an exterior urethane, as a spar urethane, you get any of the hardware stores, and start coating your plaster, sealing it up. Of course, when you do the fiberglass, the resin will actually soak into the plaster if we don't do this, and then starve the fiberglass from resin. So just liberally apply a nice thick coat of uh, urethane, let it soak into the plaster, seal it up, and it'll be ready for the next step, and that'll be our next video. Well, here we are at the end of this step of the Arte Supercar Project. Well, if you're interested in the project and you wanna go see some of the previous steps, go ahead and take a look right here, some of these links to previous steps. You can also go to buildacreator.com and see those steps written out in kind of a blog form. Also some illustrations there, maybe a little more information if you want to kind of follow along, actually reproduce these steps in a car yourself or a different kind of project that these would work as well with. Anyway, we hope you enjoy them. We hope you follow us. Click below and subscribe. Put the little bell on so you get notifications and follow the projects as we go along. We're hoping to produce more videos in much faster rapid succession as things go along here as we start to get into the mechanical and the operation of this car and some of the things that we'll be using to put it on the road. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Come back and see us again here at Builder Creator.